us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. A hardy Hyo Silver and a get em up scout and the Turner Martin expedition begins again! Yay! Choo. This is an anthropomorph, a human figure, and it seems to be quite old. Perhaps basket maker, maker. And as I was going to say, this little area in here, no doubt, was a place where people, several people, and maybe families lived. But it's kind of protected by an overhang and a little courtyard out here. And so. There are petroglyphs on both sides. And down here, one of the most interesting things is this very long atlatl, which was one of the very early uh, hunting points that was used. It was on a long shaft and it was thrown by hand. And then we see a couple of ducks, one that probably has an atlatl shaft in the back of one and then two mountain goats. And it looks like there is also maybe a lat lateral spear in this one. But all along here, it seems that they're going both ways. The at -lateral, maybe three lat -lateral. Here's one, here's one, and there seems to be one going up. This is the end, where perhaps this is a feather that uh, is pointed, pointed toward, I presume, the prey that they wish to kill. If I remember correctly, this may be indicative of clouds. And of course, clouds is very important for people who were in agriculture in this area because they needed rain. Then we have a duck figured anthropomorph. And um, I've heard two different explanations of that. One being it's what you're after as prey. And the other is that perhaps this is a medicine man or one that has uh, communications with the gods and his spirit can fly away like a duck to, to the spirit's abode. Mr. Martin, to our uh, first day. First day. To you bet. Great trip. All right. What do you think? I tell you, Stan, this is magnificent. It's great. Well, good cooking, Martin. You bet. You.
another adventure with Mr. Martin on a super highway. All right. Why are you driving so slow? <laughs> I didn't want to get you car sick. Thanks, Dad. This morning we're off to Fallen Roof Ruin and uh, whatever else we can see. Notice the uh, different kinds of construction for these dwellings. Everything's out of stone, but here you've got uh, large slabs that have been propped up. And then next to it, you have uh, stone and mud. Probably not much can be seen from inside, but we'll give it a try. Hell yeah. And these, this is the uh, view from Fallen Roof Ruin, looking out into the canyon. We are at the top of Moki Dugway, looking out across the, the Great Expanse that includes Monument Valley. at the Valley of the Gods. Just hike down to the San Juan River, right in the area where it bisects Comb Ridge. Oh, I'm now we're well. <laughs> here's looking at you, kid. Here's looking at you. All right. All right. Ah, yes. And we're recovering now after a uh, trip to Fallen House Ruin, and uh, tomorrow we're going to take a look at. River House? River House, yes. River, River House, House Run. All right. This is Monday, May 16th, and uh, we are at River House. Last night we spent uh, at an overlook uh, above the San Juan River. Today we're going to visit here and then move on. a little hard to see but there's uh, some spirals big ones and a snake uh, pictographs that have been painted on the walls
Well, we're headed now toward Butler Watch, from what I remember, and once again, Mr. Martin has uh, created for us an interesting opportunity for this truck. Escape. Cool. We're now hiking in uh, Butler Wash, headed up the east side of uh, Comb Ridge. Well, Mr. Martin is up on the next shelf there looking for petroglyphs. And on further up Canyon, actually right above that uh, juniper that's there, up in the alcove, there are structures up in there. Right now we're inside a very large alcove, almost a cave. Here we've got a uh, spiral pecked into the rods, petroglyph. Mr. Martin, what have you found? Some places where they did some grinding, either corn, it seems to be horizontal, more or less horizontal, or it could have been minerals for paint. See the almost vertical grinding marks in the rock. Very impressive cave. And swinging around. This is the view looking out uh, east toward Butler Lodge. We've certainly had an interesting day. Yes, we have. Uh, hiked out to uh, River House, and yes. then the two of us trudged up to uh, see several unnamed ruins here um, on the uh, eastern uh, eastern side of Comb Ridge. That's and right. then, uh, in the true wandering way of Wendell, you went and scouted out uh, what we hope to see tomorrow, Cold Springs Ruin. I, I might point out that Wendell original Teutonic language means wander. Yes, yes. So, and I must point out also that if you don't care where you are, you're not lost. That's very true, very true. So what are we having for dinner tonight? We're going to have beef stew. It's a specialty of mine and I prepared it in the most exquisite manner at home before the trip and I froze it and it had just come unfrozen, and we are going to have it for dinner tonight. And it's going to be appetizing. Who need people are the luckiest people in the world. on preparing an outstanding breakfast for the two intrepid wanderers. All right, we're off on our uh, hike here to uh, Cold Springs Ruin as Mr. Martin descends into the depths. We're now up at the uh, main complex of Cold Springs Ruin. Mr. Martin is photographing another very nicely laid out kiva. 
behind this wall, although it's pretty dry right now, is a uh, natural spring where obviously the people who inhabited uh, this particular uh, community got their water. Unfortunately, uh, inside the uh, wall itself, you can see evidence of where people have been pot hunting, digging up, uh, looking for artifacts. More grinding stones. And on this particular one is what looks like uh, very possibly an elk or something like that. You can get some idea of how extensive uh, this uh, area of occupancy was because way off down there in the distance underneath the overhang there's evidence all along of uh, structures all the way up to the main cave here. We've been hiking uh, on the slick rock above Cold Springs Ruin and uh, on the top of one of the ridges we came across all these strange nodules coming out of the slick rock. from taking a look at uh, Cold Spring Ruin and we've driven about two and a half miles down the road and we're now going to hike in to uh, an unknown name panel although Wendell and Denise have called it Mini Processional. It has no ruins that we could find but it does have some great rock art and I think you will find it very interesting. Well as they say, rock on! be very difficult to see with the uh, video, but this is uh, where Wendell and Denise ended up calling this the mini processional. There are all of these figures that are in, in a line and you very hard to see because how old they are and they've been worn away, but uh, they're all in a line and heaven only knows what they're doing. We have here what looks like a road runner. returned uh, at different times from our journey up to see the mini processional panel and other exotic and interesting things. And we're now on our way into Blanding, is that correct? To get supplies and all before we head off to our campsite tonight and uh, all of that. So far the weather's held up pretty well. They're saying that there's a chance of thunder showers tomorrow and an even greater chance uh, the next day so we'll see what happens we're at cave towers uh, canyon and it's a romp of mule canyon which swirls around from the other side of the highway and comes down a little bit further down canyon and there are seven uh, towers, or at least there were at one time. Uh, we think that they were used for signaling, um, and what else we just don't know.
here is our humble campsite with Mr. Martin enjoying an afternoon drink and taking in the marvelous scenery. Once again, Mr. Martin is uh, preparing a gourmet meal. Tonight we're having spaghetti with all kinds of delectables. Uh, we need to thank Denise for the excellent sauce that we're going to have with our spaghetti tonight. Amen, brother. Butler Wash sign and what are we about to do? We're going north on Butler Wash, uh, north of 95, Highway 95, and we're going to Target Ruins and maybe even further. We're not certain at this time because the weather is looking pretty scrappy. Off we go! I'm not sure if this is uh, the ruin with the target or not, but uh, we're going to go up and take a look. One of the uh, first structures that we've arrived at still has the uh, vigas, the uh, roof timbers, in place. And I'm not sure how clearly you can see this, but you can still see part of the roof intact. You can see how over the uh, main beam they put smaller branches and all across and then on top of that uh, panning back this way again you can see that they used reeds to cover and then uh, adobe on top of that. Here you can see the bottom of the roof underneath inside the structure itself but it says something about ballroom cave huh? huh. All in this lower area you can see a lot of individual rooms and then right behind them is a very large cave which I'm sure uh, the name Ballroom Cave where the name came from. We're near the uh, very back of Ballroom Cave and I'll swing around here and just see if you can get some perspective of the size of this thing because it is huge. Now in a, another cave to the uh, north of uh, Baldwin Cave. Somebody made a ladder that we uh, climbed up. And in this cave, we have one partial ruin in the we back. We arrived at a big pour off in Butler Wash. Still haven't found target ruin. And Mr. Martin's walking down to uh, where uh, the rock has been uh, hollowed out by the water coming down off the pour off. This is looking back sort of south in Butler Wash uh, from the end. And there are a variety of ruins even here. There's one up in a cave up above there in Alcove. So. On the way down, we'll keep our eye open and see if we can see Target Ruin. If not, we've certainly seen some other good finds.
we've been hiking back down the canyon again looking for the infamous target ruin and we've discovered an alcove with some possibilities so we're gonna go check it out here's hoping this may not be the target ruin but uh, it's, uh, it's on target. very impressive it certainly is on target climbed up to another ruin uh, above the one we were just looking at and Eureka turns out it is target ruin and over on the left side there on the side of the wall of the flat roof building that still has the roof intact is a target painted on the wall well we've both taken pictures of it so uh, we do have proof and uh, we'll be more than delighted to show that so our mission has been accomplished we did get to Target Ruin, and uh, we're going to continue down Butler Wash. Well, we've just finished lunch at the Twin Rocks Cafe in Bluff, and uh, we're headed to Page tonight, where we're going to uh, uh, pull up in a motel. And I think you can see one of the big reasons why we've uh, called our trip a little bit short. Uh, this morning we had probably the highlight hike of, of the trip, although it's all been good. We uh, hiked up Butler Wash to the north, saw a whole series of just fascinating ruins, and uh, the last one was clearly the best, and actually was the whole reason that we hiked up Butler Wash, and that was to see Bullseye Ruin, and uh, we actually were able to find it on the way out, and very satisfied. Anyway, uh, we're headed home after a great trip, and um, anything you want to say, Mr. Martin? Uh, I think it's about time to go home. Uh, I don't like the rain or, you know, hiking in it, so it's time. Well, it is uh, certainly very wet out there. There's no getting around that. All right. Say goodbye, Wendell. Goodbye, Wendell. Goodbye, Stan. Set it in my cronies, I am getting a crack. Let the wind take all the cares, the slave on its back. Her hearts, to despondency, we never will submit. For we've always been provided for, I am safe. Comfort to her hearts and enliven the tale. Will I always be the happier the longer that we sit? For we've drank together many's the time I and save will be at. Save Drank together